Hi everyone, how you doing? Ryan Stack back. Video 2 of the 30-day fast launch. This is going to cover how to expand your network, massive action, and create so many possibilities that the people, the customers, and everything will naturally come to you using this technique. Okay, so uh, this is all about finding the right people. Finding people is creating massive amounts of possibilities. We want to expand past the initial 20 that you wrote down so we have thousands of people. So you're never dependent on one person to grow your business. You never want to do that. You want to have unlimited amounts of people so that you can identify the best two people and build the business that way. Remember, the one thing that stands between you and your goals is finding the right two people. So let's get to those people as fast as possible. It's understanding and mastering the process of prospecting and automatic prospecting. That means when you're sleeping, when you're not building your business, we have the system generating more and more interest as the days and months go along. Okay, now remember the key to finding the right people is increasing your network. Stop worrying about who the right people are and focus on increasing the amount of people that have eyes on you. Okay, and we do that through expanding through other people's networks. The people you need are through your current network and there's a system designed so you can get to their network. Okay, remember, it's not about the person, it's about who they know. We're looking to get people to look at the overview. Please, if you think you know the right person and you're trying to figure out approach, that's the wrong way to do this. We're simply looking for people to look and there's appropriate way through referrals to get everyone at least to look at this once and that's what this is going to cover. So remember, you started off with a, at least a 20 person network list or a names list, okay? Make sure that's as solid as you can. You didn't forget anyone in that. You can add more than 20 of course, but 20 is a minimum to start with. So this is a memory jargon you can go through here and add to that. Um, then we're going to focus with a mentor on how to contact, how to approach these people to get them so we can begin to network through them. Okay, I want you to hold on to this because we're going to, uh, uh, at the end, uh, halfway through this, explain exactly what to say, okay? But we don't want to be limited to that little list. So the rest, all the thousands we're going to add is going to be done through social media. So we're not going to stop creating possibilities. Our job is going to be expanding networks. So is social media optional when you want to build a Market America business or shop.com or any company? In today's market, the answer is... It's not optional. No, you have to be on social media. If you have someone who's building this business and they expect it to happen, there's no question if they don't have Facebook, they get on it right away. You have to have that hard conversation because nowadays it would be like trying to talk to people without owning phones, without owning cell phones. Yes, you could walk to their house, but that would take lots of time. They may not even be home. Uh, all of the, it would be goofy, right? It could still happen, but it would take forever. So you have to be on and, and on the space where everyone's eyes are. If you don't believe this, go to a movie theater before the movie starts. Just look at everyone in the theater where their eyes are. They're planted on a screen. Even though they're there with their family and friends, they're all on uh, uh, social media. Look around the malls. Look everywhere. People's eyes are there. We need to be there and uh, uh, to access these people. So here are seven tips to go along with the two a day that I'm going to explain. So here's things to help accelerate and make sure you're doing the right things. We put this together. There's a lot of questions on people asking daily activities. So here they are. You got to set up your Facebook to reflect business professional look with your lifestyle. Meaning don't make it all business. Don't make it all personal. But you have to have a nice blend. It's a clean. Uh, it's it's uh, again, you know, here's us and we're on the uh, beach in Miami. But we don't have suits and stuff on. We're just hanging out and then we have uh, our team back there and, and, and our family and stuff like that. So update that. Make sure your profile picture is you. Do not put animals and dogs and uh, grandparents and all that stuff because we're branding you. After we build this, people got to be thinking of you. Every time they hear about uh, residual income or making extra income or time freedom or, or flexibility with work schedules, I want people thinking of your face. And that's what's going to keep drawing people in, not branding something else that's not you, okay? Remove offensive pictures. Keep it clean. This is not a diary. We're going to post positive things and lifestyles on this page. And you can uh, uh, update your About Us section on there as well. Then you're going to w focus on this names list. Everyone goes, create a huge names list. I said it's already done. Facebook does it for you. There it is, 1,473 friends on a names list. So this is where we're going to start. And we're going to concentrate the two a day 
on people in this list. Okay, so there's people, you don't talk to all 1,400 of these people, so let's start going back to the people you lost touch with that, that you don't even know how you're friends and start communicating with them. That's where we're going to start, and we're going to add on top of this list once we maximize that list, okay? Uh, 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 tip three is you're going to irritate people. When you post throughout the week and throughout the days, you want to add things that are related to the business to give the story so people can follow along. And it can't be selling. It's got to be something, okay, that is related to just lifestyle, things that irritate people. Look at this one. I want to thank uh, you, Mark in America, for giving me an opportunity to start my own business and my leaders. I received another $300 check. Okay, they're not posting big pictures, just a status quo. Uh, and everyone's showing interest. What do you do to get these checks? I better check that out. It creates interest, so people come after you to ask questions. Don't go over the top. Keep it simple. Keep it clean. But keep it in a way where someone starts developing curiosity. If you start selling, and selling means message me if. If you want to make this money, then you got to contact me. Shop on my website. All of these direct things things where you're asking people, that's selling. Remove that and turn it into irritation, okay? Here's a couple things. Looking for big achievers and everyone's going, yeah, I'm ready. Pick us, me, me, me. Uh, another quote, people going, yeah, I got to get on on this. Uh, uh, just a great quote. Uh, someone saying, uh, this was great. Someone who was like, you know, suspicious. This was one of those things or cults. I'm um, thinking about it's time I learned more about this cult, which you speak of. It sounds very appealing and happy and I love happy. So that's finally wearing someone down who uh, thought it was one of those things, and now they're at least open to look, and that's our job is to get people to look. Tag people. When you tag people, it shows up on their statuses, so it gives them credibility that comes from a third party. Post new uh, people launching in the business. It shows that we're growing. It shows a success. And then here's where we're going to message two people a day. It's able to prospect fast. You can communicate with those who you who are cold and warm up those uh, cold markets. You can ask a lot of questions. The goal is this, just private message and say, hey, you know, Ryan, it's been a long time. Haven't talked to you since we worked together. I want to send you a quick message to catch up. How you been? What are you doing nowadays? Keep it fun. Keep it social. We're asking questions. You want to know lots about them. Not them asking about you, but let's get them, let's figure out what they're up to. That is going to lead to all the things we need to hear to be able to network and build through those referrals. Okay, old school still works, so you can still meet one-to-one -one in coffee shops and parks, but we got to incorporate new school because you can do things like prospect 10 people, set two new plans, all in 10 minutes from a rooftop in Miami, and we didn't have to leave. We got to still chill and enjoy our time. That's the new way. You got to add that, okay? So this is about massive amounts of prospecting, massive amounts of expansion of our network, your reach, the amount of eyes on you will lead to people who show interest or say the things that create the interest and they will sponsor themselves meaning they will want to have this because it's a solution for them and they were the ones that uh, uh, prospected you meaning they were interested rather than you trying to get them interested and that's how you have to build this they have to create the interest themselves come after you so here's the 90 days Remember, this was a 30-day fast launch, but I want to show you what happens if you can do it in 30 days, what then the, the, the momentum that creates is going to carry over 60 days and then to 90 days, and look what can happen. If you just message two people on Facebook, just you alone, again, we're going to just pick two people we lost touch with and communicate and start conversations, not tell them to see the plan, not just friend them and not message them. This is just, again, keep it simple. So here's what happens is, is if you had nobody and you started this today and did it for 30 days, you would have 40 new conversations going from when you had nothing. So 40 brand new conversations. In those conversations, you're going to be able to identify 10 people who would be willing to take a look. I'll explain how to do that. Okay, very easy to do that. Not 10 people who want to do this, but 10 people who are willing to look. And our goal is to then, out of those 10... We know one out of five plans shown, you're going to find one interested person. So if we show 10, we'll identify two people in those 30 days that would be willing to run with us and try this out or launch their business. Either way, we'll still be able to grow. The other people, we're just going to have as customers. We're going to get them registered as a customer and shopping for products. Okay, And then the other 30 that we're talking with, we're just going to keep talking with, but put them in a funnel. Don't waste too much time. we got to keep going. we got to do it one more month. 
If you do it another month, it doubles the results. And if you did this yourself alone, it'd be 120 new conversations, 30 new plans, six new partners, 24 new customers, and 90 people in the funnel that you get to go back to and then keep networking with. You couldn't even do this again if you tried. You would have to keep going and clean up all the conversations that were happening. But here's what I want you to remember is that during the first month, it was just you. Month one is just you. What we're doing is after we show the 10 plans, we're gonna identify two people who at least would be willing to try this. We're gonna cover what a trial run is in video three, but who do you know that that if they said, hey, uh, uh, if you said, if, there's, if I could remove any financial obligation and you would be willing to at least try this so we can show how this could work for you, would you be willing to try? And everyone's willing to try just because what if it does work? So we're now going to take those two people and duplicate this 30-day launch with them as a trial run, okay? So look what happens now. It's a power in numbers. At the end of 60 days, you're going to have 160 new conversations, 40 new plans, 8 new partners willing to start on trial runs, 36 new customers, and 120 people that you're now in conversation with and trying to manage that. And if you do this one more time, and I reduced the numbers, I reduced it from uh, uh, that eight down to four. So this is even smaller numbers because I want to just play it safe. And it's still great. Here's what happens at the end. If you did this one more time with those trial run people, you're going to have a 360 new conversations, 90 plans, 18 new partners, 72 new customers, and 270 people in the funnel. So you showed just by working with two trial run people, 90 plans because you did this two extra times. You followed through for an entire 90 days. That is a win and you will have so much activity that would fill up your calendar for a year if everyone just did that. Committed to this and did it for 30 days, then carried it to 60 days and finished it off in 90 days and then you would have to now go back and network with the 270 people that you didn't have time to work with. Now, everyone who has a team or two people want to start this at the beginning of the trial run, come together and say, hey, instead of me just doing this, you guys want to do this and have this growth? Pull together a team, uh, someone on the left and someone on the right. When you do it together, look what happens at the end of 90 days. Over a thousand new people that you're in conversation with that you weren't before. 270 plans were shown, 54 new partners, 260 new customers, 810 people in the funnel. Uh, think even bigger. You got three on the left and three on the right. Maybe you're an executive coordinator or you're a coordinator. Pull your team together and say, let's all do this together and leverage each other. We'll all commit to this and, and do it over 90 days. It would be 2,160 new conversations, 540 plans, 108 new partners, 432 new customers, and 1,620 people in the funnel. There's no way you can't find the right people. There's no way you don't create interest. It will happen just because the numbers are so large. And remember, it's two a day. We just, we just expanded in numbers that we have more people doing two a day, but that it grows because you get paid 100% on what the team does. Team successful, you're successful, and your partner's are successful, and you have new growth. It's a win-win-win every which way you put this. That's a whole lot of nuts. It's putting so many possibilities that you're never desperate. You're never worried about the one person doing it or, or not doing it. You have so many new people. It's always going to continue the growth that's happening. Remember, the goal is to simply get people to look. Now that we created all that interest, all the possibilities, all the pros all people coming to us, and you have your original 20 that I told you to hold on to till this moment, what we're going to do is start booking them into the events that you already booked out on video one. So here's an example of how I do it. If the person's excited or they're not, or I think there's right or wrong, it doesn't matter. I treat everyone the same. I call them and I would say, hi, it's Ryan. You know, I uh, wanted to give you a call, see if you'd be able to help me out. Help, not do this business, okay? Help. I recently started a business. Uh, because of the growth, I'm looking to expand with two new partners in, in the next 90 days. So is that true? If you do what I just outlined, do you think you can do that yourself? No way. you got to have more people. you got to have more bodies. we got to have more leaders to expand. So this is very true. And, uh, and we have a timeline, so they need to help us now, not next year. I immediately thought of you because you're already successful. You throw them a compliment. What are they great about? What, what's something attractive about their personality or what they do? I know you're busy managing two businesses, but with your connections, you might be able to refer some great people my way. 
Okay, so we let them off the hook. This may or may not be for you, <clears throat> but I'm looking to see if you could help me out. Again, if you could help me find the right people, it could be mutually profitable. Are you available to meet this Friday? And you ask for the appointment. You close on the appointment. Okay, they're going to ask questions. Keep them brief. Uh, uh, don't try to answer anything in depth because you're going to confuse them or they're going to think they know what this is and then they don't book the appointment. Okay, good or bad. So if they go, well, you know, do you have to sell stuff? How does it work? Just be like, I don't want to confuse you. That's why I wanted to see the overview. It took me seeing it uh, a couple times and I would just confuse you if I didn't answer that. Uh, can I count you in for Friday at 7? And you ask for the appointment again. Every time, just go back. Okay, so get off all the objections and get on to just... Getting them to want to at least see. That's our job. So once that happens, we're going to show the plan. You have the events already booked out if you did what was in video one, okay? So you show that using whatever method you're going to use that. And the close at the end, once you're done showing the plan, is you want to ask lots of questions. You want to get feedback, dialogue. Ask questions like, what did you like best? If you're anything like me, you probably thought of a few people. Like, who did you think of, okay? Okay. Uh, if there's one thing in your life that you could currently have, uh, that you could have that, that you don't have currently, what would it be? And whatever their answer is, just be like, this can provide that. This can give you that time. This can add that extra stream of income that you're looking for, okay? But the goal, the close at the end of the plan is to create dialogue and then to book the follow-up. This is the win. We don't get paid to recruit, so there's no rush to do that. Okay, we get paid if other people launch and are successful. So we want to take the interested person, them, okay, that saw this, that's intrigued, and then answer some questions, follow up. But then here's the close is, could I follow up with you the next two or three days, give you a ring? I just want to let this sit in, you know, sink in a little bit for you. And, um, you know, you'll probably be, have some questions over the next few days. Could I call you? Could we get back together? This time, you know, Saturday or Sunday, could I give you a ring? And they'll let you know. And if they say yes, it's done. If they can book an appointment right away, hey, let's get together on Tuesday to follow up, done. That is the win. That is what your focus needs to be on. So here's a recap. It's all about getting to people's people. Stop thinking about the individual. Get, it's about who they know and who they know. Network large numbers so you never run out of possibilities. You're never desperate on the one person or if one person says yes or one person says no, it doesn't affect your business. You have thousands. Commit to the seven Facebook steps. Review them and if you have to. Message two a day. That is huge. And then at the end of 30 days, each 30 days, we're going to duplicate with the two new trial run people or the two new partners who launched and expand this out. That's covered in the third video. It's all about booking appointment to get people to look. Remember, whatever you have to say to get the highest number of people to look is what you need to do. In my experience, it's that dialogue, the referral approach, okay? Follow-up is the close. That is the win. That's the goal at the end of showing a plan is to make sure you have another chance to talk to that person uh, uh, to go over their questions. Learn uh, uh, in video three. This is going to take you through what to do immediately after the plan is shown how to get back, what to ask, what to follow up with, and then how to get them on a trial run. So learn the next steps, learn how to avoid objections and setbacks and move fast, and learn how to duplicate and growth. If you have any questions, you can always private message me, Facebook, Ryan P. Stack, Twitter at the Stack Life or the stackgrp.com. Ask me any questions if uh, uh, you didn't understand any part of this video or you experienced some setbacks. Uh, 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 be happy to help you out. Um, and then make sure you understand this. And now at this point, you can jump on to finish this out on video three.